Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Bignesh and I am here today to share very exciting news with everyone that I recently appeared for Google Cloud's Professional Machine Learning Engineer Certification exam where I have cleared it in my very first attempt. So in this video, I am going to share everything about that exam. How did I prepare for that exam? What was my strategy? And I am here to provide you some useful resources with tips and tricks so if you are someone who is going to take this exam very soon i recommend you to watch this video till the end in first place i have break this video into three parts in the first part i'll talk about my introduction my background and in the second part i'll talk about that exam what is that exam is about and what is the ex expected out of that as a test giver and the third part i'll share you my strategies tips and tricks with some useful resource links. So without any further delay, let's get started. To talk about my experience, I have around six plus years of work experience and this certification is my 21st certification. So I have multiple certifications from cloud, Google cloud, from Azure, from Databricks and from AWS as well. So I predominantly work in Google cloud, Azure and Databricks. So with Google Cloud, I have been working in multiple use cases in both data science and data engineering team for around two plus years now. So all this experience, collectively all this experience gives and boosts my confidence in giving this exam and tracking it in my very first attempt. So in the next part, I'll talk about that exam. This exam is relatively easier when compared with data engineer and cloud architect exam. Because in cloud architect, I got two use case, but in this exam, I didn't get any use case on all. But one thing I want to highlight is in this exam, I got 60 questions, but in the other exam, I, I got only 50 questions. So for one question, you will be able to spend two minutes. You can spend two minutes, I guess. So totally 60 questions and the total time duration is 120 minutes. That is two hours. So out of that 60 questions, if I wanted to break down like 35 questions, it will be very easy. It not very easy. It will be easy out of four options. You will be able to identify the one correct option and the next 15 questions like it will be like this or that like it will be between two options like either this or that the last 10 questions it is not it is randomly only but the 10 questions it will be like bit tricky where uh, except for one option you will be able to feel that all the other three options will be a right option but obviously it can't be because there can be only one possible solution so that is how the 60 question is and like time duration is 120 minutes so this particular thing uh, professional machine learning exam exams you on various ML point of view like from how do you frame ML problems like how do you develop your models how to architect your ML solutions automate and orchestrate your ML pipelines design data preparation and processing systems monitor basically monitoring it optimizing and maintaining the yeah, maintaining the ML solutions whatever we offer it so this is how you will be able to see it so in the next part I will tell you what is the preparation or what is the strategy which I followed to crack this exam. Started preparing for this exam, I didn't find a comprehensive list of resources which covers all the aspect of this exam. So I referred multiple blogs and multiple videos which obviously led me to GCP's official products pages and doc documentation and also few blogs which led me directly to uh, Kusiria's machine learning pages, machine learning courses that was really tiring and the process is very huge. So what I did is I just skipped those things and I just sticked with the official documentation itself, which I'll be sharing you now. So I stick with it and I will share a list of resources which I used for preparing for the exam. And this preparation led me to crack the exam at the very first attempt itself. So now we will see, uh, we will see what are that particular uh, documentations. So to do that, I'll go and open my Safari and here you can see. So here, if, when, if you see, this is the official documentation for professional machine learning engineer. So here you can get a detailed analysis of what it is like here. You can see the professional access or exam accesses your ability on this problems. And here you can see all those things like what this exam is about. And here you can see the length is 200 hours. The registration fee is $200. The language is English and exam format is 50 to 60 multiple choice and multiple select questions. So I got 60 multiple choice and multiple select questions as well. So you can take this exam on two more. One is you can visit the exam center or you can take from your home or from your comfortable space as well. 
so there is no such prerequisites but the recommended experience is 3 plus and you can just go through all those things and this is what i was talking about like here you can see in this exam guide you can see framing ml problems so you can go through all these individual steps and you can just prepare a doc uh, you can just refer a documentation to it and you will be able to get an in-depth knowledge if you wanted a course or if you wanted a uh, course out of it like which i did this like i pointed i came and i was i sticked into this uh, particular machine learning engineer learning path so this is google cloud's official uh, learning path so i just sticked to it and i just did all those things like right from the uh, beginning till end i did labs and i did everything so it was very easy and i was able to understand also it was very easy for me to understand explore and uh, yeah uh, understand the different aspect of machine learning engineer in uh, uh, gcp services as well and then this part like this is what the sample question is here you can get 20 sample questions it is very similar what you will get in uh, the real exam as well so just make this hands on here you have to practice this question because whatever i practiced here i was able to understand the concept very easily and the very similar question i was able i got it in uh, the actual exam as well so i basically i have collected other resources link also which i will give in this description session uh, i will provide the summary of resources useful links practice exams everything in the comment section and i'll try to like write a blog very soon on this and i'll attach that link in this particular uh, uh, description session as well so uh, totally for me i took around a month a month for preparing for this particular exam so it was really hardening process i spent around three to four hours uh, like two hours in the weekday and three to four hours in the weekend so uh, this preparation was for about month i practiced all the things which i showed you in the machine learning engineer path so this i did while having a full-time job and also while running this youtube channel like where i used to uh, upload uh, where i used to post uh, the resourceful videos on weekly basis so if you wanted you can just take a take a look at my youtube pages as well where you will be able to get in-depth knowledge on various gcp services so if you have any questions any doubts please post that in the comment section or just connect with me in the linkedin i'll be very happy to help you on this so thank you have a nice day